Hey guys, still here and welcome back to War on the Sea. Episode 19, I have a bit of an issue on the Rennell Islands. The Japanese were able to land troops. Now, I had a flight of, uh, where are they? They're, I already think they're already on board? Yeah, can't launch. Um, they're already bought the Enterprise again. It was a flight of dive bombers that was able to inflict damage against the cruiser and two destroyers that was escorting that convoy. The plan is to strike them again with the Avengers, but I'm waiting for that task force to reappear. Because once they have fought in a fight, they're going to be gone for 60 minutes of in-game time. In the meanwhile, Task Force 7 is going to go back home and resupply the Rental Islands with more troops. I have a whole fleet of destroy no, not destroyers, submarines going out to greet any Japanese ships that get spawned in. And as we have seen at the end of the previous episode, they have a lot fewer ships than they once did. Several classes are completely wiped out. Uh, there are definitely plenty more left. So there is no shortage of targets for me here. The thing is, I just need to find them first. And speaking of finding... Um, okay, Enterprise ready to launch. That's excellent. Ah, that's not what I was hoping to find. Uh, there is a submarine close to the Enterprise. Which comes at a pretty terrible point because my Avengers, which are the only ones which can carry depth charges, are out. I could use Dauntlesses, and I might as well, since I don't really have another job for them. So we're going to have a fight with the Enterprise and a submarine with Dauntlesses overhead. Hopefully they can come in to assist. Oh, here's the Avenger flight as well, by the way. Now, I don't exactly know where... What? Oh, hi. Um, why are my Avengers in and not the other guys? That's weird. At any rate, uh, the whole task force. Enable radar and sonar, if you have it. There is a submarine close here somewhere. And I think her scout aircraft is right overhead. I'm not sure if the sub is in a position to attack yet. But I'm not taking any chances. We're going to turn to port. In case there are torpedoes coming in from any direction, this should throw off their aim. And in the meanwhile, uh, we're just going to use the AA on these ships to take down that incoming scout aircraft. Which I think originated on the submarine. But I'm not sure. I'm just going to let the Avengers uh, stay airborne. The only thing that they can do is try and drop torpedoes against the submarine, if we find it. Which I don't think is particularly likely. Yeah, here comes the anti-air. Enterprise is defending herself and she has no shortage of anti-air guns. It's not the Yorktown, this is the Enterprise. Commissioned, C. Secondary guns, she has uh, five inch secondary guns, but she has more, I think. Yeah, it's just not shown here. She does have plenty more anti-aircraft batteries, because these are not the five inch guns, I think. No, she has plenty more. So this scout aircraft really shouldn't be capable of flying, uh, well, any more after traversing over the Enterprise. The bigger issue, however, is that that submarine has not been detected. And I'd rather not spend an eternity trying to find it. Mm. Aircraft one downed. Can we leave? Not quite. But time is times five. So that means that... The submarine... There we go, we can leave. Okay. Uh, at 6.43, I think we need another 20 minutes or so before that task force of uh, the convoy is going to reappear. Oh, and by the way, because I sank a couple of ships earlier, I can spawn in some new submarines. Um, let's see, is something else coming off repair soon? No. Well, yeah, the McDonough, one Farragut class. Do I need more subs or do I need more surface units? Ideally, I need more engineering and more fuel, but that's going to come at the start of the next month. Um, 
I'm just gonna park a couple of submarines around the Rennell Islands to ensure that they cannot deploy any more here. Gato class. Yeah, 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 the Gato was already used. Uh, let's go with a group of two. Bonefish and Cod. You're gonna be one task force over there. And I'm going to say that there is another task force. New submarines. And that's going to be the Cerro and the Corvina. Done. Course over there. All right. Show me that convoy because I want to try out a torpedo bomber attack. 700. Yeah, they should be. F they should be detectable. They are. But it's a submarine. Shit. Um, what if I vector these guys over to the submarine and ignore it for now? Avenger con... Uh, what? Yeah, ignore. We have bigger fish to fry. That convoy needs to pay for its sins. Sins being dropping off troops. Tactical. So these are 11 dive bombers against one submarine. Not an ideal matchup. But if we can find that submarine, we can blow it up. You what? Well, that was easy. You. Attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have no target. Well, here you are. For fuck's sake. Everybody. Target that submarine before it manages to dive away. Now, attacking a submarine with 11 dive bombers could be considered overkill. But in this case, I just want this thing gone before it has any opportunity to scout and destroy the Enterprise. Although I think we destroyed their capability to scout anything. Because it think that that... Well, that seems like a catapult for launching scout aircraft. Um... I think we shot down their only scout aircraft when they encountered the Enterprise. Um, hello? Oh, we, yeah, there we go. We're already bombing them. Well, they shut up, all right. The question is, did we damage them sufficiently? Here comes the last dive bomber wing. Contact lost? What? You wanna expand on that? Like, did she sink or did she dive? Because that's a fairly substantial difference. If she was sunk, great. If she decided to dive, not so great. Because then I have no further means of killing her. I think she dived. I don't think I can find her anymore. No damage. Really? I thought those bombs came rather close. RTB. Can we launch more aircraft from the Enterprise yet? Yes. 12 Wildcats taking off. I want these to just scout out the submarine again. So that whenever the other aircraft are ready, we can send those guys up with more bombs and try again. Although, of course, right now it's going to be out of commission. Oh, shit! That's the Wakataki, isn't it? Ah, oh, crap! They're out of fuel! Great. Okay. Uh, task Force 14, move to intercept. That's the surviving Wakataki from the encounter here. Um, ignore that, but keep shadowing it. When can the Enterprise launch again? For 0.1 hour. Okay. 0.0 hour. There we go. 
Enterprise ready. Uh, 11 Dauntlesses. We're going to go right for that destroyer and blow it out of the water. Ah, hi. Now you're here. St there's the destroyer, the heavy cruiser, and the merchantman that I was hunting down. I want you to ignore that. And just sort of shadow them for now. So that we can wait a little bit and then send up the actual strike package consisting of that torpedo bomber wing. How long is that going to take? 0.7 hours. Okay. Course. There. Tactical. It's a bit of an overkill, sending 11 Dauntless dive bombers against one Wakataki, but why not? So, where are you? Where are you? New sh What? Whoa, hold on. Um. Okay. This is something a bit more sizable than I was expecting. That's the bloody Yamato. Or Musashi. At any rate. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. I thought I was going to be shadowing one destroyer. Turns out there's the bloody Yamato over here. Damn. All right. Well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Um, also, the tougher they are to sink, probably. Yamato. If it's Musashi, tough luck. Here's the Wakataki. No. Matsuki? Or Yuminikaze? Gun, 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 gun. Gun, 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 gun check. Uh, Tribute launchers in the bow. How many torps are you supposed to carry? Six. Congratulations, you are a Minikaze. And then, as we know by now, this is not a Nagara class, because they all went down. So if it's not a Nagara, then it's a Kuma. See? All sunk. You're a Kuma class. Which Kuma you are, I don't know. I don't particularly care about that. You're Japanese, and you have to go down. And you... Akatsuki or Akizuki. I always get those two confused. Uh, these are the cruisers. Funnel. No, you're supposed to have two. Are you a Yugimo? Oh, great. The Yugimo and the Kagero class are very much alike. The only difference is... They carry 12 more crew members. That's about all I can tell you. It doesn't really matter anyway, because I'm going to send all of my Dauntlesses against the Yamato to damage her as much as I can. And the Destroyers, well, tough luck, but they're not really a priority right now. Um, yeah, so identification for you is more academic than anything else. Dauntless? I hope you are as Dauntless as your name implies, because we're flying into a hornet's nest. Execute. I'm not really expecting any miracles from 100 pound bombs and 1000 pound bombs as well. But if I can damage her, then the torpedo wing can potentially knock her out before she ever gets an opportunity to strike directly at the Enterprise. The alternative option is to use the Dauntlesses against the destroyers, hoping to kill those so that a submarine can make an attack. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Yamato can take on quite a few torpedoes. Um, and of course, I still have the Duds problem. Some of my torpedoes have a tendency to go and be a Dud. Here we go. Range 2400 hours. Where's their anti-air? There it is. Off you go. We're diving directly onto Yamato now. Jesus, take the wheel and prepare the dive bomber. Here we go. Look at that. 
hit. <laughs> that looked uncomfortable. Good lord. What did we do to that poor ship? Oh, shit. The Enterprise is here? Oh, no. Apparently, the game seems to think that it's a great idea to have the Enterprise also in this fight. I, have as n I was not aware of that. So... The damage that these guys have done might have been a lot more important than I was ever expecting. I didn't lose a single bomber? I really don't like that angle of those guns. Can we please leave? Yes? Goodbye. Heavy damage to Yamato. Moderate flooding. Run! Yamato's after you. Run! Like, seriously, get out! And please launch the other aircraft. 0.3 hours. 0.3 hours are gonna go by pretty slowly, I'm afraid. Uh, RTB. These guys did fantastic, by the way. And the Wildcats against these guys are gonna have to wait. Uh, we can still vector TF-14 over here. And all the submarines might also come in very handy. Damn, I was not expecting Yamato to suddenly show up like that. Let alone in the same area of operations as the Enterprise. Ready. Give me all the Avengers. We're gonna go with the torpedoes. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're gonna set a course to where we kind of expect the Yamato to be at this point. Off you go. Then I might just send out the dive bombers against this group. Provided that they're ready, of course. 0.7 hours, okay. What? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Uh, the submarine is still here, because we didn't actually kill it last time around. I got a bit distracted. Now, as long as that submarine stays over there, I don't mind. But I really don't need her to intercept the cruisers. Gonna be another in-game hour before we're going to be able to find these. 0.5 hours. One destroyer, yeah right. Ah, there you are. Avenger. Uh, begin. What the fuck? The Enterprise is in the area again? New ship. Hello again. We didn't quite get you last time around. That's about to change. Alright. Identification on the ship. Pretty similar to what it was last time. I think the Yamato hasn't changed that much. We did some redecorating on her with those 1,000 pound bombs. But it's probably not that stellar because it seems like she repaired all the damage. Like, instantly. Uh, where are you, Yamato? There you are. Alright, all the Avengers. Uh, we're gonna set a course to here. To here, and to here. It's my first torpedo bomber attack. I don't know if they're going to work better if I do a pincer attack or a hammer and anvil. I am just going to try and get as many torpedoes onto Yamato as possible while telling the Enterprise to just run just as quickly as possible. Enterprise, how fast can you go, buddy? 32 knots, I'll take it. Range? 53,000 yards. Okay, so that's even for the Yamato outside of range. How far can she fire? 29,000. That's the secondary. 45,000 with the mains. If she detects me. And she might not be able to do that. Come on. You 
see it yet. Yeah, there it is. Let's look at the size of that monster. No idea if the torpedoes from Avengers can also be duds. Target Yamato, please. Before you get the wrong idea. Target Yamato. No target at all. Target Yamato. Target Yamato. One. Uh, yeah, we're going to engage. Attack, attack, attack. Why are we turning away? I think we're going to bleed off some altitude first. Before we're going to make our attack. That's why they're turning over to right. And yeah, they're losing a lot of altitude. Okay. I am very thankful that it is the Enterprise, and especially her aircraft, that spotted this thing. Because if it was anything else... If it was anything like a cruiser group, I would have been toast. You guys are attacking, confirm. Avengers attacking, attacking, attacking. Yeah, we're just bleeding off altitude. They're going down in a spiral. Home bay doors are open. There are the other wings. Now we're down low enough. And here we go. I'm going to cut out a bit here because we're just going to be on the approach for the next 12,000 yards. All right, here we go. Range 4,280 yards and approaching very, very quickly. I messed with the speed a little bit so that all the Avengers are attacking almost simultaneously. We have a nice spread here. And I hope that the torpedoes are not going to get, uh, well, accidentally dropped on top of this cruiser here. And I really wonder how many aircraft are going to be capable of shooting down. Come on, boys. Make me proud. And ensure the survival of your mothership. Torpedo away. On all. So Yamato is about to have a really terrible day. Okay, all the Avengers, I want you to just evac that way. We lost one. Yamato is about to be hit by at least four. That was a pretty good attack run. She was hit by what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven was a dud. So seven, eight torpedoes. Whether that's enough to finish her off, I don't know. But she does seem a little heavy on the bow. So maybe, maybe we have her. Look at that. That is not a good sight for your ship. But just imagine getting hit by 12 torpedoes and not instantly dying. <laughs> Yamato preparing to dive. On the one hand, I'm happy that I probably killed her. On the other hand, I'm sorry to see her go. Because this is one of the most famous battleships. But it just goes to show what sort of dominance the aircraft have over the battleship. Because you might have those big ass guns. Those 40 centimeters, 18.1 inch. But if you cannot bring them to bear because your, your firing platform gets hit by aircraft, then tough luck. I'm not sure if she's going down. Oh. Potentially a secondary explosion there. How are my aircraft? Oh, they're perfectly fine.
Now, see, this is where I don't know if I can just exit the game, exit the battle. Well, not that mm. much the game, but the battle. Um, or mm. if I should stay around and watch. Mm. Because we have seen in the previous parts where I did a dive bombing run against Yamato that you can wound this thing, but if you don't finish her off, the next encounter she's going to be fully repaired. Whereas I don't see how the sailors are going to repair her from eight torpedo impacts back to full health. But then again, she was hit by a serious amount of dive bombs as well. And that didn't particularly seem to finish her off either. Oh, uh, quite a few of my Avengers left the engagement area. That's fine. Seems like she has the fires under control. She's still maneuvering at 19 knots? Mm. What? Downed? Did they run out of fuel? Shit. Well, I guess we just leave and see what happens. Critical damage. Heavy flooding. I lost four aircraft. Great, but I still need to kill her. Can we launch the dive bombers again? Point one hour. Let's try it again. Because there is another option that I have, and that is to just wait for all the aircraft to be ready. And then just send up the whole wing. So everything I have, except for the fighters. Okay, we can launch. I want all the Avengers. Just stay there. Point one hour. All the Dauntlesses. Everything. Okay, and now we just have to find her again. 28 nautical miles only. Whew, you're close. That submarine could still pose a problem, but I think Yamato is a bit more valuable. Keep the Enterprise heading away from that convoy as it's coming in. Now, this destroyer is a nuisance, but not a threat. Hello again. Uh, Avengers, you're going to have to wait. Because we need the, the, the Dauntlesses as well. Tactical. There we go. Now we have everything. Start. Alright, main target should be... Oh, you're still damaged, are you? Target 2, Yamato class. Third encounter. Let's see if we can take her out now. Uh, all the Avengers are coming in from the wrong angle. And so are the Dauntlesses, actually. I want the Dauntlesses over here. You guys, you guys, and uh, you, I think. Yeah. No, sorry, you're an Avenger wing. You, you guys are going to go there. The other Avengers over here. These are the Dauntleys. Daunt Dauntlesses? Dauntlesses? The dive bombers. This way. Prepare to line up. Put that thing down. I really wonder how many points I'm going to get for killing that. I'm also considering, should I let the Avengers go first? Maybe that's a better idea. So just let the Avengers go first and then see if the Dauntlesses can finish off whatever's left. Not necessarily Yamato, but just the other things. Engage. We're going to do our spirally dance again. Oh, of course, now we cannot speed it up. if I can take down a few more cruisers, that'd be great. And with, well, this many Dauntless Bombers, I should be able to do just that. Alright, here we go. Avengers are once again on attack. I'm going to slow this wing down a little. To ensure that they both attack at the same time. I 
that's about close enough. Attack speed is 179 on these things. We already lost one aircraft. Yamato does not seem to be healthy here. That flooding damage has definitely stuck with her. But why the dive bombers didn't do as well last time around, I don't quite understand. Here we go. It is dropped. Let's hope this puts her down. Just lost another Avenger. We can trade a few Avengers for the entirety of Yamato. Perfect trade. Yamato struck. Twice. Three times. Four. Five. Dud. Dud. Five times. Let's hope it's enough. I have lost two Avengers. And two from the previous attack. Still got the Dauntlesses on standby. Bingo. Yamato's done. Okay then. That means that we now have the other dive bombers to come in for an attack. Um, in that case, I probably should identify them. Your DD. Not an Akazuki. Check. Bridge looks check. Turrets check. Speed launchers check. Assuming target four is a Yugumo. Target one. Is that a Mats um, Minikaze? Mitsuki? Gun, gun, gun. Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. Nope. Not a Mitsuki. Kamikaze. And this is a Kuma. Believe it or not, because all the other Nagaras are dead. Uh, where are you? Here. Target three. And the last two ships that they have in that class. Dauntless. Attack Igumo. Other Dauntlesses. Attack Kamikaze. Other Dauntlesses. Attack Kuma. I just hope that these Avengers are going to make it out alive. We still have the Enterprise group close. But when these things run out of fuel is unclear to me. I'm not sure if it says anywhere in the game. I mean, I know what their stats are. I can access that, but I cannot tell you what their in-game fuel capability is. And whether I should be concerned for them. Uh, anyway, I could form all of them up on number 12. Here, now I've got one large wing of Avengers, so we're going to head that way. You guys all attacking in one swoop? One group, two groups. Where's the other guys? Oh, they're coming in from another angle. That's Dauntless 1. Hold on. I'm gonna hold off on Dauntless 1 and uh, potentially strike one of the targets again so that it's actually dead. Alright, here we go. Air attack commencing on two targets. Whoever's left is going to get another dosage. Attack angle's not that great here, because I should attack in the, the length of the craft. But maybe we can just inflict enough damage here. Bombs away. Hit. Good damage here on the destroyer. Now it's just a question of how long are these guys going to take to get killed off. What I don't get is why the Dauntlesses persist in their attempts to fly over the target that they just bombed. Is that just arrogance or are they trying to do another run? Because I don't have any more bombs. So exactly why they try and do that, I don't know. This one's trying to be a submarine. This one's not quite dead in the water. 
Should I go on another attack run? I mean, I could have the destroyers from the Enterprise finish this one off. I'm not sure if it's required. Go on, dive already. Oh, the O'Bannon's leaving the engagement area. That means that the Enterprise's group is out. That's good. Secondary explosion. I think it's time to hit that cruiser again. Uh, is it correct that you guys are... Yeah, you guys are t done for? Mm. They still have bombs. We're gonna go in. Okay. And maybe I should also pull these Dauntlesses out of the combat fight, or the, the combat area, so that they don't run out of fuel. Don't ask me how that works. It just... It just does. Look at this guy. How are you still functional? And why are you still insisting on doing 24 knots? What the hell? Anyway, if you're going to let me pick a target, I'm going to pick this cruiser over here. Because that destroyer... Pretty easy to hunt down later. But cruisers are always more valuable. Gentlemen, we have a target. The Kuma. Line up. Mm. Can already see your smoke plume over there. Chevalier is leaving the area. That means that the Enterprise is out mm. as well. Why is the Yugamo falling behind? You're not even the damaged one. Now what I could try and do is attack both again with a mere two dive bombers. I'm not sure if that's going to be wise, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I want you guys to form up. This dive bomber wing is going to attack the Kuma. This dive bomber wing is going to attack the Kamikaze. Let's see if this is going to work. I really hope that it will, because then I can take out two targets. If it doesn't, I'll take out no targets. At least not fully. So let's see. Can they hit with just two bombs? Just look at the smoke plumes coming off of those things. Massive damage. Still, not enough to sink them, though. Interesting. Enterprise is leaving the engagement area. Excellent. Excellent. The Enterprise has served me really, really well. There's the remainder of the anti-air... <laughs> the anti-aircraft mm. arguably is somewhere submerged. But I guess not enough. Ooh. <laughs> Kuma. Go on. Go on. Kill it. Oh, you missed! Oh, no. Shit. Okay. Get out. Don't don't loiter. Because the more you loiter, the more you're dead. There's no, no real reason for you to just hang around here. Get out. Hey, we got the kamikaze down. Submarine conversion complete. But what about the Kuma? We missed her. I think she's going to live. All right. Well, I'd say the damage is done. Let's leave. Uh, I gained 58 command points from sinking Yamato, moderately damaging the Kuma, and sinking a Kamikaze class. 64,000 tons of Yamato has been destroyed. The real question is, was it the Yamato, or was it not? It was. It was Yamato. So, um, good exercise in uh, airstrikes, and on top of that... 
a very dangerous air or dangerous uh, warship has been destroyed. This means that I can RTB my bombers, get them ready to go after that convoy that we were hunting in the first place, and potentially later take out this destroyer here. But right now, I'm just going to celebrate sinking the Yamato. Hope you guys enjoyed the air show. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for the next one.